On February 1st, 1960, in Greensboro, North Carolina, Ezell Blair Jr., David Richmond, Franklin McCain, and Joseph McNeil, four college students from A&T State University, staged the first sit-in in America. Their peaceful protests led to more and more sit-ins all across the country, which further moved the civil rights era forward and led to integration of restaurants, schools, and other places of business. But it also led to persecution, people spitting on them and throwing stuff at them, and even getting violent with them. This was 60 years ago. Now sure, today things are different. We've moved forward, we've evolved, but think about this. A few years ago, another guy led a similar silent protest, only he didn't sit to be served at a lunch counter. He sat, then knelt to stop police brutality before a football game. And nobody physically accosted his protest. He just had his livelihood stripped away. See, we've come a long way, but we still have so far to go. That's why I've put together a nationwide speaking tour called Let's Sit Down and Talk, four ways to keep moving beyond injustice. Over the last decade, I've spoken to college students about how to make an impact and leave their campus organizations better than they found it. There's still work to do, and I'd love to partner with you to bring an amazing experience to your campus or your organization. Let's talk soon. Odell was phenomenal. We had him for the lead conference. They loved him. They really enjoyed his jokes because he's very funny. Said from the fact that he's very engaging, he's very funny. And I think that um, overall his message was very, very well said. And he inspired a lot of our students for sure. I just wanted to let you guys know that we had Odell Bazell here for four days, an amazing four days. Um, our students got so much out of it. Some students came back to each campus. We have four different campuses in the county. They came to other campuses that they don't even have classes on just to see Odell. He did a fabulous job. You're doing yourself a disservice if you do not have him come and speak to your staff and speak to your students and speak to your company and speak to your people. He's bringing life, not only life, he's motivating and moving people to the next level. Don't miss an opportunity to be with Odell.